when you when YouTube asks you to take a, a screenshot of your face unexpectedly and you just throw the bag up there that's what I did I threw the bag in front of the camera so it wouldn't take a picture of me okay oh this is where I found a fanny pack I'm gonna do a quick haul real quick. It's overdue and there's a lot of jewelry and I probably won't get through it. It looks like it's gonna rain, um, but it's a beautiful kind of overcast cloudy day. So sorry for the wobbly ghettos set up here. But I wanted to come outside because the birds are so pretty and I've watched a YouTube video couple years ago on a lady that did a haul outside and it was very peaceful and it this is just like so random so I found this um, some of this is at the pound store oh and then I'm gonna show you um, you found a Marlboro fanny pack the other day that is a total score I would wear that <laughs> even though I don't smoke cigarettes Marlboro sure was good though I used to um, so this bag here is 75 cents a pound from the pound store. And then it's weird. I got like stuff everywhere. I have this box of, um, an, a $10 jewelry bag that I got at the Goodwill Boutique. But then usually I wanted to, usually I wanted to, I actually wanted to put the Alex came to my, garage sale randomly. I talk about him sometimes. Um, he came to my garage sale and he was like, well, I got two junk jewelry bags. We can just trade for inventory at my garage sale. And that's what we did. My phone's just gonna fall over. He got some toys and, um, he gave me two jewelry bags. So that was awesome. Um, okay, let's kind of go through this. This is the cheap $10 jewelry bag. I was going to record a video, but then my mom showed up, and so she was going to use my living room, so I didn't record anything junk jewelry. I'm going to actually go through this really fast, too, so I can get it over with. First um, good piece I see is a rosary. I actually like that piece. Not bad for 10 bucks. Oh man, a fly just flew inside my water bottle. Eat, sleep, Amazon. Hello, I actually just subbed your channel recently. Hi. Because I want to watch a lot of videos about Amazon. So, I don't know who this stands for, junk jewelry. So here's the deal, if you're new to my channel, I do lot up a 10 pound bag of jewelry. You just subbed to me too, thanks. Um, I lot up all this junk jewelry and I sell it for auction on eBay. They always go for 25 to, all the way up to like $45. This is the highest I've seen them go. Um, so I always pick up junk jewelry, um, especially like the, the 10 or $8 bag sometimes, because sometimes you find a good deal, good product. This is the cheap junk jewelry. Wow, I can't say your name, El Cuba. Cuba. This is plastic, I saw this one earlier, it's junk jewelry. Some wooden, what's up rusted raccoon? Ooh, that one's a glass one, isn't it? So I always see these vintage wood painted ones. Did the fly fly out? Okay. Having fun? No. Hardly to say. I just got my nails done, so I feel a little good. You're so tired. I went to Walgreens and scanned a couple items for Amazon and quickly got discouraged. It's like I should look up a YouTube video just to see what can you source at Walgreens because I live like 
really close to Walgreens and CVS. A good piece, not broken. This is like probably New York and Company. I don't know, NY. Um, it's not missing any diamonds. You gotta hunt the toys and, and the orange tags. See, I've never been a Walgreens coupon shopper, so I don't know. I hate to think about math. I know if it's on sale and if I'm gonna make a good deal, but when you have to think about buy one, get one free and 50% off of. Okay, junk jewelry. I'm gonna go quicker through this. Unfortunately, these are plastic. But I, I think I've recently learned that some of these plasticky beads can be the Bakelite. Um, so, if you haven't seen my older video, you can test Bakelite with just um, baking soda and warm water, I think it is. So, I might test them. I don't know. This one looks like an amberish bead. 50% off clearance where? Walgreens? <laughs> Oh, the Dollar General. I saw something about that. You hit 25 do Dollar Generals today? <laughs> Time for a beer. That's hilarious. I know. Um, I have some drinks in my hubby's cooler, and he's not home yet, so I'll probably just grab one out of his cooler when he gets here. I gotta buy a new phone stand, man. Man. What do we got here? Some dude's bottle opener. West Texas zombie run? Well, that's pretty cool. It says it's a survivor. <laughs> I'll look that one up just to make sure. You never know if there's a good little piece in here. Mardi Gras beads. Boy, howdy, when I'm 50, I'm going to go to Mardi Gras. Don't they wear it? Go, like, run topless and shit? Like... I'm on when I'm 50, maybe when I'm 40. I'm 35, about to turn 36 this summer. Oh, what's this? Cute little ball. And there's a charmy cross necklace up in here too. All of the, oh, this is the one I wanted. This is why I got the whole bag actually. Some of you might be like, okay, that's awkward or weird, but um, if you go to the eBay solds, some of these vintage paper, this is paper beads. I've never sold them yet, but I've looked them up on the solds and they do sell certain ones for okay money. And I'm actually have a little collection inside, so I might bundle them all up and sell them all together. So you have to be very careful with these too because they unravel and then you can't get them wet. This one seems a little bit cheaper, but it's totally wrapped in paper. That one again seems newer made, but I do have some older ones. I love those birds that just chirped just now because they are always at the lake when we go camping. When you wake up early in the morning, you can hear those birds chirping a lot. Look at this cute one. So this was in the $10 junk jewelry bag. Not bad, but it's still junk jewelry. Um, what's this cute little thing? I bet this is a choker. It looks really uncomfortable, but actually pretty, pretty sexy if it's tight enough. Let's see if it's tight enough. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. That's pretty cute. It's not, um, doesn't go up high, en high enough. A cheap little button. If y'all see a mosquito land on me, please tell me. Like you could zoom in that close. I'm all, it's not on my face, right? My face was itching just now. Plastic beads. If we get rained out, I'm just gonna turn off the video, especially since you can hear weed bl blowers or leaf blowers now um so this jewelry it was a jewelry bag it's at goodwills i have a really good hot spot that i haven't been lately i had a garage sale last saturday so i couldn't go um and i don't need any more jewelry but these were just good finds 
and then I found a 75 pound, 75 cent a pound. I threw a bunch in this bag. We'll talk about that in a minute, but um, a Goodwill boutique or your regular Goodwill stores, they have them as well. So this one was $10, but the one by my house, I usually pay um, $25 a bag for them. But I find like real gold and real silver. This one's fake. All of this is gonna be fake because the Goodwill Boutique usually goes through this stuff pretty good. Um, but anyways, this is a $10 bag, but I have found some really old stuff in here, so that's why I like these bags. Junk jewelry. Plastic. Um, yeah, and then I got, like I said, I got that purse at the Goodwill bins. This one's kind of cute. I necessarily wouldn't wear it, but maybe, I don't know. It's kind of boho-y. India. This looks like a dude's necklace. I don't know. Like, 90s. I see these a lot. I bet they don't sell for much either. But they were so cute on dudes back in the day. <laughs> they were so cute on dudes. That's what I said. Um cheap little thing. A long copper one. Clearly plastic blue beads. Beautiful though. Ooh, fancy. I love that color. I like it a lot. Sea bead, like dollar store kind. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Um, really tarnished. Scratched up. Gold tone. It's got a funky clasp there. So I saw this interesting bottle. It's pretty cool. I've never bought one, but I've seen them at the stores like Earthbound or whatever. This is a. Uh, oh, it's essential oil. I need to get me one of these, but maybe like a tinier bottle. We have a weird, whatever, like, horse dude with the... Can this, can I, like, zoom in at all out here? Here we go. There you go. That's pretty cool. I'm kind of, ooh, the cork got stuck and broke inside of it. Mmm. Interesting, it's a soft, subtle um, wheel. Purple beads. These ones were interesting because they're, I don't know, it's got a cotton threading. I've never seen this before. I don't know. Okay, oh. I've never seen this before. It's really good quality plastic. Purple beads. Those are so cute. That was totally, that wasn't a mosquito, it was a little bug. Ooh, ooh, it's broke, darn it. It's a longer one, needs repair. My back is hurting, I should have got a pillow. Who's still here with me? <sighs> Wondering how I did uh, at the garage sale. I think I made like 300. I think it was 300. Then my mom came over <coughs> that following week and I had reduced my Poshmark closet or her closet that she listed of all my stuff, my death pals. Um, and we we made like a total of like 200. Oh, this is so pretty too. Cheap little girl's necklace. Um, but she wrote me a hundred dollar check when she came over. But then again, I reduced our closet and we made another 200. So she'll write me a check like next week for another hundred or two. Some stuff she listed. Okay, cute acrylic heart. 
strand. Come to mama. Another wooden one. Ooh, I remember these whenever I was a kiddo. I love these. They're like fishing wire almost. Like it's almost invisible. So you have these floating stars. That one's pretty damaged. Pretty, pretty damaged. We have an Avon chain. Man, I have a James. Oh, it's got a butterfly. Never mind. I might look up that one. I don't know any James Avery, or I don't know any James Avery. I was going to say I have a James Avery chain, and I it's all by itself, and I just can't bring myself to list it because I don't feel like I'll get worth on it, but maybe I will. Um, I've yet to see any Avon jewelry that sells worth my time, unless it's real gold or silver, and I've never seen it. i never seen it. This is plastic. It's totally thundering above my head right now. Let's not get shocked by electricity here. I'm totally touching metal too. We have some tiger's eye junk jewelry. It's a cheaper tiger's eye. I'm not seeing anything in here, you guys. But uh, Kiora Villages, Kiora. Oh, it feels like there was a mosquito right there. So there's these two pendants. This one's Copper Kid's Head. What is that, a mom and a daughter? Nope, that's a husband and a wife. Interesting. And it's got two hearts on my back. Look at that boombox charm. How cute. We got a pretty decent cross necklace here. Ooh, and I like that one. Hold on. Let's get this tiny one off. I really like this liquid metal, I guess. Is that what you called it once in the chat? These liquid metal beads. Ooh, and they're tiny. It's kind of masculine, but ooh, it's a choker. Awesome. The simplest little things, right? That make you happy. Except I need to wash this because you never know where it's been. Hello, bird. Take this one off. Oh, it just came off. It's that cheap. Did it break? Mm -mm. No, it didn't break, but that's pretty cute. Needs to be lifted. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, here's another rosary. I don't know why, I just think rosaries are cool. Because even, like, you don't have to, I don't know. You don't have to be Catholic to wear it. Oh, this one's got a cute Jesus. A cute, a handsome Jesus. Plastic beads, though, unfortunately. That's why they're in here, right? Okay, we got some dog tags. Whatever this symbol is, a triangle with a heart. I usually separate all of this out a lot better. Well, that one's glass, but it looks kind of cheaper. And let's look at it. Hold on. Um, this one looks like pink quartz. Those are glasses as well. Ooh. It's 
not sterling though. It does have some kind of pink quartz. What's this red one? It's just a cheaper end. No maker's mark. Cute little evening or cocktail drop necklace. remember what that one's called. Heart pendant, gold tone. What's this little thing? Day. It's like came out of the quarter machine. It's a rose gold color. It's not coming up on camera. Another dude's necklace. Okay, so we're gonna move along from this pile because I'm tired of looking at this one. Royal BFF is in here. Oh, look at that, the cutest. Let me get this out. I gotta get this one out because I would wear it. <laughs> it is popsicles, oh my gosh. Hold on. Okay, apparently I'm not gonna get it out right now. My nails are too rounded, but it's a clear popsicle stick. <laughs> Just wanna eat it, except it's not that hot right now to be eating popsicles. Another one, unless that's the same one. I really threw it back in here. Is that another rosary? Maybe not. See, my fingers are already dirty. This is a match to another necklace we had, I think. Or this exact same one. Really worn out, ow. The gold's real rubbed off. Super cute though. All his little rhinestones are still there. There we go. Plastic beads and some wood beads. <clears throat> A really cheap gold cross. Plastic. Another red cross. Rhinestones are there. Oh, these are glass beaded. These are pretty cute. Look kind of older. Some kind of something. Did it just get darker? I think it did. Okay. Junk jewelry. All of this feels so lightweight. Gonna glance through it. Junk jewelry. Again, my loss is my buyer on eBay's win, right? Like, whatever I miss, I'm all fine and dandy that people actually do maybe find good pieces that I miss. Um, so, this is a Disney stamped. Who does it have on here? Mickey Mouse and some girl, but it, I guess it's a charm. Oh, double. Yeah, I don't know. It's a necklace, I believe. Do, do, do. We'll look that one up, but even though it's probably not worth anything. Okay, this one I'm excited to show you guys because this one's from the pound store. So I found this purse. It is cleanable. What is it called? Laminate. So when you see this fabric, they sell it in a diaper bag, Calencom or something. Um, and it's expensive. This is a Vera Bradley mini purse or craft bag. And I could almost promise it's practically new. Um, so I'm going to pour it out, all the jewelry. What was so crazy, look, it's uh, mesh down there. It's mesh down there. Um, 
What was so crazy, this was all thrown into the Goodwill outlet, the bins where you dig for stuff. And when I lifted up something, I immediately saw all of these vintage pins, these brooches. So I didn't care who they were for. I just assumed I will lock them up in my junk jewelry bags if I don't sell them or auction them off on eBay first. Like these ones I'll auction off, but the junk I'll throw in the junk jewelry bag. Makes sense? Okay, so there's two that don't go in the junk jewelry bag. I found this little cute vintage Humpty Dumpty, I think. I think that's Humpty Dumpty. Could not pass that up. I'm a sucker for vintage. A cheap earring, but I think I have the other one. I think I actually don't have the other one. There's another pin I've seen a lot, a brooch. This bracelet, it's got like the shell in it or something. So, does anyone know what this one is? I have two of these, and I see them a lot. Is it, it's not considered Clisoni, Clisoni, right? I don't know, I'll show you the other one here in a minute. Uh, here's another pin, it was in the box. They had, I believe, making sure there's no mosquito on me, um, $15 maybe on it, and then they marked it out. I don't know, it's not real gold, but what is this, a peacock? Yeah, it's got a diamond looking eye, and it's, oh, it's just Avon, okay. I think that's a peacock. I think it's peacock. Okay, um, another brooch. I'll test it for the pearls later when I list it. An earring could possibly be real silver it's not stamped so oh look here's the other one too and actually you guys the back on this one here says sterling ZZ so oh isn't that Zales maybe I don't know it's probably not because it doesn't have diamonds Um. I'll be damned. Both the backs are here on one of them, and they're both stamped sterling. Well, that's an awesome little find from the Goodwill Pound Store, the outlet bins. These are hammered and some kind of black onyx or something in the center. So that's the best, like, real gold that we found so far. Um, vintage pearl necklace really cheap feeling they're not real we'll look at those later i found so many brooches i think but this one's a necklace isn't it huge oh my gosh it's a two piece oh yeah what is this big old one look how pretty that is oh and then I got this one. See the money coin? It's a $1. Like this alone, taking it out is real $1. So I paid for like half of this stuff, right? <laughs> I found a cute pair. Clips onto a necklace or something. And it opened. Oh, there was makeup in here. Or perfume or something. It's vintage, so I wash my hands a lot. So as soon as I go inside, I'll wash it. It's actually a shimmer, kinda, ooh, real old, you guys. Wow, maybe someone will wanna smell the scent because their mom wore it. I know, my husband's weird like that. But I haven't been in his shoes, so. Um, here's a brooch. No maker's mark. I figured I'd just get these, you guys. Like I said, um, bundle them off on eBay or put them in the junk jewelry bags. Auction them off on eBay. Real chunky cross, real goth and edgy. Could totally wear this for Halloween. It's got a beautiful little flower in the center. It's cute. I like that edge. Um, here's a... So this one, I don't, 
I didn't bring a magnet. It doesn't look silver, but sometimes you never know till you test it. So I found this blue one. It's real old. <coughs> Cute earring. Golly, that's so fancy. Why don't they make these? This is so badass. I would totally wear this earring. Hello, you leaving? You scared me, dude. Oh, and it comes off. Oh, they actually, that's, yeah. I don't get it. It's like broke off or something. Or an add-on. Nobody knows. Okay. Check out this one. This one was kind of cute because it has all the children. Probably like, it wouldn't really be mom, right? Did she? Maybe she was a stepmom too. I don't know. But mother's got a lot of kids there. Do we need to count those kids? Uh, it's really old. Uh, possibly the mother could be Sterling. Look, it's got Jesus hands on there too here. Um, all the birthstone colors probably. I don't see a Leo at all. I'm all first thing. I don't see a Leo. There's a problem. Um, it looks silver. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten little kids. So cute. Look at this one. What's it called? Oh, shoot. I'll think of the name here in a minute, maybe. Oh my goodness, here's a grandma one with all her kids' pictures. Holy moly. Okay, we have a jet going by. Here's one brooch. I don't know how this goes. Looks like, reminds me of um, The Littlest Mermaid, or Little Mermaid, her dad with the dagger. Whatever. Got this cheaper one, but it's got some stones in it. My lips are so dry. What in the world? This looks like some real leather here, you guys. A really old cross there. That one I'll look up too. Well, I've been waiting to go through this, you guys, and I just haven't been able to record a video. Okay, so this does not look silver, but it is a vintage angel country. I can get this up here. I'm going to close it a little. Copper, stainless steel or something, I don't know. Here's another silver, liquid silver. Another, it's a gold cross with turquoise in it, blue and red. It's not real gold. Cute. What does this one say? Alva Museum Replicas. Okay, interesting. This lady must have traveled. That's kind of cool. It's really old. It's got some kind of green enamel in there. I hope my battery is still charging. Yes. Okay, good. Chain. goodness you guys there's a lot of good pieces in here they're all religious and it's so tangled we probably won't be able to go through all this I did show you uh, this one I can't even remember the stinking name I know the name but it's not coming to me so that one really heavy Filigree rose looking one. We got a couple. That's Avon. 
Look at this grandma thingy with all the kids little pictures. Oh my gosh, that is stinking adorable. Huge chunk there. Um, this one's interesting too. The bow, silver. Let's look at this one. I think it's just stainless steel, but it's still so super cute. I love it. It's so fun to go through jewelry. Oh, look at this one. It's a Geno Genova watch. Shock protected, anti-magnetic, Fina mainspring, Swiss made. It's a necklace with a bubble acrylic or, oh, cool. It's got like this vintage picture. I think um, Sandra Aguirre would like this stuff. This vintage stuff. Um, oh, wow. Look at that one. It's pretty old. And I got a couple wooden crosses. So it's going to take me some time to go through all of this. Here's another watch. Here. Is my video buffering at all? I don't see any errors, but okay. Yeah, so that's pretty much it on that one. Oh, cool, here's a little locket. I wanna see what's in there. It's not real gold, but it's old. Very old pictures. Okay, I'm gonna grab um, Alex's two jewelry bags. Oh, here's a Sarah Coventry piece here. These are gonna have to be looked up, you guys. So I have two of these and I don't know where the other piece is. Um, I got this box so that I can ship something in it. So I'll be right back can enjoy the beautiful birds, right? His fingers are filthy. So yeah, my back porch is rotted right here and we recently have found out we had termites in our house, but they're not right here. It's the weirdest thing ever. My termites came from the dirt and in the front of my house, but not back here where we actually have visible signs of rotted wood. So at first I was like in denial. I think I saw them last year and I was like, well, I don't see any termites swarming my home so i didn't think we had them but it ended up we did okay so right off the bat i see these vintage rosaries a bunch of them i guess so alex like i said he came over to my garage sale i'm gonna set these plastic ones aside and traded me for some toys. And he gave me this bag and this bag. And I haven't even looked at it. Like, I don't even know what's in here. Oh, this is so good. This is like Iris, Iris Ap 
Apfel off of the Netflix documentary. She wears big, colorful stuff. I love that. That's awesome. Come on, chain. I washed my hands while I went and got these, so they're clean now. Cleaner. Star. I'm so glad we're going through this. Okay, so that, I'm gonna set these aside. These are kinda cool. So since Alex has already gone through these, I'm gonna go pretty quick. We got a what would Jesus do? Plastic, like so plastic. I know it's plastic. <laughs> I'm not even gonna test it for Bakelite. So like these, like, I don't know. I think I'm gonna just test anything that looks old and plastic for Bakelite. You never know. Aw, here's some more wooden. And look at clay. Now this is old school and it's got an old school clasp. Love it. This is awesome right here. Thanks, Alex. Look how colorful. So grandma though. Oh wow, that's fuggly. It's small. Cool necklace, right? Oh yay, there's another paper. Paper necklace. This one's definitely older than the first one I showed in the beginning of this video. Um, I have no, are those little humans? Are those leaves? Are those, what are that? That's the funkiest wooden necklace ever. It's like a choker too, it's awesome. That's kind of fun, interesting. Oh wow, look at this. They remind me of those pop rocks where you can pop them and they crackle. They're actual like rocks or clay, wood. Put like a wood bundle up, right? These are clearly painted. It's got paint on there, so they're vintage junk jewelry. This is like so old. It's like a, oh, it's a rosary kind of cross thing. Okay. Okay. Oh, look at that cute thing. A little cute wood, real wood. I love anything real and not plastic. That's why I got all excited. Cheap plastic bracelet. Plastic. You can see where they have edges right there to show that it's plastic. Oh, that's cute. Tiny little beads. Is that a choker? Yeah. These are like real old plastic beads, guys. We got, y'all hear the thunder? Thunder and the lightning. Ooh, look at that. Purple. I don't know, do you call this? I guess, yeah, it's a rosary, right? I was thinking it had to have that centerpiece there, but this is uh, Miami or Mimi something. No clue. Oh my goodness, I would test this for Bakelite, but I don't think it is. But I'll still test it. It's got some really nice gold here. This is the kind of stuff that like Bakelite looks like. And if you wanna learn more about Bakelite jewelry, the old stuff, I would recommend going on Instagram and typing in the words Bakelite and like follow all the people that post about Bakelite. And when I do log into my Instagram, like once, <laughs> once a day, maybe <laughs> uh, Facebook's like every five minutes. Um, I see pictures of Bakelite bracelets and just so many different Bakelite. I feel like I can spot it better now. Your red heels. Oh, yes, girl. It's 
kind of Jamaican-y kind of vibe there with your red heels. I do not own a red pair of heels, but I probably should. <laughs> Get it, girl. So these are like so plasticky, but they're so vintagey and cute. Rose, roses. Look at this one, OMG. This is like one of my favorite. Thank you so much, Alex. It is so vintage and old. I don't even know if it's worth anything, but it's pretty. It totally, <laughs> I love clear things. I like people who are clear as well. Like, oh, that's the wrong box to throw that in. That's the good, that's the junk jewelry over there. Um, people that are like up front and real. Okay. So, got all this junk jewelry. Okay, I guess you unhook it here and you can take these off. So those are super vintage as well. Super. Super Nova. Faceted mm -mm -mm. plastic beads. Plastic. Really old. Oh, these are glass. This is what I'm looking for, Alex. Really old glass. Yes. I like it. It's actual real glass. Sandra's like, are you sure it's glass? Yes, it's glass. Did I miss a comment? No judgment. Oh, oh my God. Memphis Matt. Okay, I wasn't even looking. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious, dude. Oh my gosh, these black ones. Yes, these black beads right here are so old and they're totally glass and breakable. This is a winner maybe right there. Even though it's not silver or gold, it's still worth some okay money to some people. Okay. Plastic. Layered, cute little necklace, though. Plastic green necklace. They look like Bakelite, but you can see where the plastic is molded on the edges, on all of them. I know, I'm trying to hurry. I am zoned in, trying to, like, get this over with. Sorry, Matt. <laughs> totally, dude. Zoned out. Um, super old. It's a twist barrel clasp. Plastic. Man, that's a lot of plastic beads. Okay. Oh my gosh, we have a spl a splat, splat, slap watch. It's actually really nice. It looks expensive. I guess Alex, he's an eBay seller. He must have already looked it up, but I'll go ahead and look it up again. Seashell, like I just don't recommend these. They rip your hair out if you have long hair at all. It hurts so bad. Look at this duck. Oh my god. This duck is like so old. What is it? Is it? I'm all. It sounds like a duck like pecking. I don't think this top part is wood. Maybe it is. That's so cute how they put the little breathing holes <laughs> oh my god crush crush me up i don't get these they're like not as smooth as most beads they're kind of like i don't even know the word for it moving along now 
Another one of those old locket thingies. I'm gonna throw that in that box with those. Alexis. Okay. These are glass like seed beads, kind of older ones. Okay, so we're done with this bag. Yay, last bag here. Damn, we just went through a lot of jewelry. What you got for me in here, Alex? Oh, I love these. Look, they're the uh, fishing bracelets, but these have like glassy beads. I like it. I could wear that as an anklet, but I bet it would hurt sometimes. Okay, this is like so cheap. I thought it was pretty at first. It's like plastic, clear, white. It's really pretty, but it's super cheap. Like paparazzi jewelry or dollar store jewelry. Did you see that? I was like, so gay. Oh, that's cute. Bracelet. Charming Charlie. Bam. Get it, Thunder. It won't rain, but it's been like this all day. Cloudy. Okay, we're gonna have to rip you open. Um, I guess some kind of cheap earrings here. I'm looking for silver, gold, or super vintage, or super cool. <laughs> Does that make sense? Okay, this is broke. Junk jewelry. Very pretty. Oh, purple marble. Makes me happy. I love purple. Especially that kind of... Well, it's not pulling up on camera, is it now? Very good. Plastic. Chunky. Cute ear, uh, necklace set. It's got a lot of weight to it, so that's good for my junk jewelry bags. All those seed beads. Huge, chunky necklace. A cute choker. Uh, I, I don't know what this one's called. I can't even think. Hematite, or it's not hematite. It's uh, something. Don't get me lying. There's a connector. Has no maker's mark or nothing. Wow, that's a really cool connector. Look at that. Interesting. Fancy. Fancy. Okay, is that a bracelet? Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. Hey, Donatella, welcome. Got one single diamond earring here. <gasps> Did you just fall out of the bag? Oh no, that was a cross. I think that was that one. No, it actually did fall out, but we'll find it later. It's okay. Ooh, I like that. I totally wear that. Oh, there's the matching earrings. Mm -mm, another bracelet. Ooh, ear cuff link, I think, is what that is. Could probably be like a toe ring, too, right? I don't know. Oh, that's fancy. Shell. It's like totally going to Hawaii. Okay. Just a cheap necklace. All of this is cheap, right? Um, nice and heavy bracelets to make a chunk jewelry bag. Very nice. Uh, no, well I have, oh my phone's probably gonna fall. I have like a little stack here that's like half decent. Probably more than half of this will go in to a junk jewelry bag. So yeah, this is all the junk 
jewelry I have right here that I will auction it off on eBay. Oh my gosh, it's about to like pour down on me. Luckily, I'm almost done here. I still gotta clean up all this junk off the table. Oh yay, look, there's vintage glass beads. Totally vintage, you can tell by the connector. I'm gonna get struck by lightning. Please don't. Uh-oh, I just literally pulled, popped out one of these cheap um, necklaces. So, oh my gosh, why is this one so heavy? It's cotton threaded. I like it. It Those are heavy. Oh my gosh, what is this? Pinky. What are you? It's like, oh my gosh. So funkadelic. Funk. Like. Oh, girl, I never started at 99 cents. Never. Just let it sit. Look, I found the match. I don't start anything at 99 cents unless it's James Avery, because I know James Avery is always going to sell, and it will never sell for 99 cents. Ever. Ever. Never. Ever. Unless you just didn't take good pictures. Okay, so this is really interesting. It's a locket with a key hanging. And then it's a bracelet. I really like this. It's so unique. It's literally like a bracelet. Close it. And you got your locket and your key. I got the key to my own heart. Locket, whatever. That is really cool. It's pretty good quality made, too. Okay. Some more of this. Um, oh, that's very nicely made. Stainless steel choker heart. Those Hawaiian beads. We, Houston, we have our first ring. Told you rings are rare. Thank goodness, some, the neighbor's air conditioner just turned off. Can you hear me now? <laughs> Super cool, totally like manly. This very cute black simple necklace. I love it. I think it all men should wear at least some sort of little necklace like whether it be something like a choker or even like a cross something like that fashion jewelry broke they're kind of bent roses i cannot believe i'm sitting in this below all these clouds it's, it's really about to <laughs> get closer love where's my hubby it's 5 37 he'll be here by six no later well 605 maybe um a little puppy is that a schnauzer or something what the heck is that the only thing it has on there is the number 58 that's gonna drive me crazy. 58 or 59. It's gonna drive me crazy not knowing what that is. Oh, wow. A stainless steel manly bracelet. Totally gonna help weigh down those junk jewelry bags. Don't touch your face, Heather. Don't touch your face. Don't touch your face. Okay junk. See anything you like? Junk. Earring. I don't see the match to that. 
How does it say court? Like, did they go to court? Couture. It's couture, isn't it? I'm like, did you go to law school? Court? Okay, there's that. Okay, you guys, I am going to end this video. Oh, look, we have another ring. It's a cute little plastic one that is very thin. I like it. Yeah, that's all she wrote. I need to go get my chapstick now because I'm literally dying. You're still here? Eat, sleep, Amazon? Yes, me and you. We need to talk more. <laughs> Oh, um, because I don't think you've uploaded videos. You need to upload some videos, right? I think I checked on your channel and you didn't have any, so I look forward to you posting a video about Amazon. You need reselling friends? I need Amazon friends. Big time. Um, so the last piece I'm going to show you is a, it's probably vintage. I'm scared of videos. You don't have to show your face. You can screen share too. Um, it's a dried flower. It's real. And that's really cool. So I did find that other earring here. So. Other earring there. That one's cute. Does this one go? Yes. I have the match to that. And the... That's the heavy necklace with the matching ball earrings. We'll have to fish it out the mate in there. And that's it, you guys. I don't see anything else worth showing. I got a D. You give me a D. I hope you guys have a good weekend. My hair looks a mess. Um... Let me know if you have any questions or comments in the chat box below. I'm so happy I finished all this jewelry before it rained. So, have a good weekend. Eat, sleep, Amazon. Me too. I'm camera shy. <laughs> so am I. I feel like deleting this video because like, I don't know. I feel like deleting all my videos lately. Um, I will leave it with a tip that I learned recently I was getting my nails done shellac and one of the nail Asian guys said that the powder that you dip your nails in is has no chemicals in it don't delete it thank you I tell people that too when I hear them say that they're gonna delete a video I'm like no don't do it um it's literally starting to rain now that I'm done so um I forgot what I was gonna say anyways See you guys later. Thanks for letting me talk to myself and you as well. <laughs> Bye.